Victoria Velasquez died at a fire at her Boyle Heights apartment last summer. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Starworth has more on her family's lawsuit against the city. Fire engulfing an apartment at the Aliso Gardens Apartments in Boyle Heights, a panic victim trying to escape. Sadly, the raging flames, too much for 68-year-old Victoria Velasquez. The coroner's report unfurling a horrifying ordeal for the victim, who it states was burned alive, fighting for her life. Her body found hiding in her bathroom with the bathtub filled with water in a presumed attempt to seek shelter from the smoke and flames. It's really hard. It's really difficult. Her nieces, granddaughters, everything on all of us, honestly. The tragedy happening August of last year, the family even more grief-stricken, claiming firefighters were blocked from quickly accessing the entire city-owned apartment complex that day because gates at one end of the property chained shut. When the city of L.A. firefighters got here, they couldn't get access to the fire. The family filing a wrongful death lawsuit claiming the city was negligent in blocking the gates, preventing firefighters and EMS crews from possibly getting to the victim quickly enough to save her life while putting out the fire. Ms. Velasquez suffered burns over 75% of her body. And at the risk of being too graphic, her mouth was filled with soot and so was her trachea and her lungs. What that tells us is that she remained alive, fighting for her life as long as she possibly could, but blocked from rescue from the people who are supposed to save people in these desperate situations. She was just so lovable, so lo a loving person. She loved being around us. We were always together. The attorney for the victim's family argues to his disbelief, the gate still locked. The attorney is saying at this point, the lawsuit does not specify a damage amount. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And LA's Housing Authority just released a brief statement saying, quote, the Housing Authority does not comment on pending litigation matters, but wishes to express its heartfelt condolences to Victoria Velasquez's family on the loss of her life. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.